What's up everyone, Jeremy Gunslinger here, and today we're talking about th just by itself this time. This R&D drop-in cylinder for a 45 long coat for the Remington new model 1858. Uh, now we're going to be trying to talk about what it can and can't do. Uh, it takes this 45 long colt shell, oh, one of these, and allows you to put it in this. Now, I paid 200, and I believe it was 230 bucks for this. 250, I think, after taxes. It fits both my room to new model armies and they're without any problem. But it does say in the manual that you get with it, and my computer screen came on. That you might have to mail on it. I'm looking I got this out right now. It shows you where right there. Uh, it says never to dry fire them. It's for uh, it's a six shot conversion and 45 long colt. Fits together without any stretches, uh, screws or threads. Uh, comes with uh, should be left with the cylinder empty. So cowboy loads. Uh, it does says 45 long coat cowboy ammunition only or uh, to stay in between if you're getting like that to stay in between 750 and 850 feet per second then you can load take those store box and reload them uh, and they even have one in here for, which I haven't tried yet. Computer. Thank you. Uh, black powder load can be loaded with an up to maximum 34 grains of 2FG black powder or black powder equivalent. So, uh, that's why on... Utah Gun Exchange tube. Ah, I gotta trim this beard. I gotta trim. Uh, I loaded it with 25 grains of 3F because 3F is a little bit more potent because it's meant for it's a faster burning powder. I loaded it a little lighter. You have to go there and check it out. Same name, same same channel name, just at just different site. Uh, you have to see how that's done. And what was the same? Oh yeah. Uh, this is for a steel frame only. Basically, this is steel. This this back part is steel, not the brass frames. Uh, I'm trying to read what it says. It should be resting on an empty hammer. Oh, and by the way, this is right here. This conversion cylinder is classified as a part by the ATF. No FFL is required to purchase this product. So, that's the cap and ball cylinder. Installing is very quick, very easy. Yeah, I don't see that. I forgot. Now, I find it easier for me to load my Remington if I start it to about here. So I can't push it no more. Then, cock the hammer back until I can move it. And then line it up with that empty cylinder. I have a little bit of 
play with it so I can get that pin to line up. That's just, it's just easiest for me. It might not be the easiest for everybody. It just seems like that's what's the easiest for me. <clears throat> uh, I shot 15, 20, uh, oh, let's just say I got a lot of, uh, over a half a box of reloads. One day after this one, after I broke the firing pin, now I've actually replaced it. Uh, this is going to be my converted dual cylinder. Cap and ball one, and this one's just going to stay cap and ball. This is the one I'm going to take when I go to shoot cap and ball revolvers at tournaments. So. But, uh, So you might only be able to load five here, but I've got an extra cylinder over here. There we go. Over here, it's unloaded as well. But I could load it up, cowboy load. Uh, have it in something where I'm pretty sure the primer's not going to hit because the that I feel safe enough because the cap's still underneath that. It would have to hit a rock or something or just something just right that I can go. Okay. So I have this. I ha I'm going to be taking this one to, when I go out hunting because where I go hunting, I have a lot of wild hogs. Um. And it's around here, they seem like they're aggressive little suckers. I've been charged a few times, uh, and I want something I can deal with them if need be. Because, uh, not this one, this one, I made the point different. I used uh, the Colts, not the Colt, the Johnson and Dow bullet tip for this one. I'm going to try to see. I've seen how these work. The footage messed up on me, guys. So, we're, I, so I'm going to have to load up some more of these. Like this to see how they work. Compared to this. I wanted to see if a Spencer style of bullet, that pointed bullet type... I guess you say an early Spencer type. Uh, if its accuracy would be better than one of these rounded flat tip that you'd normally see in 45s. Get a drink of coffee here. But if I had to, so I was in an area I shot. A few out of this, I could take this down, put this one in very quickly, very easily. Uh, and if, say, another one comes out or whatever, I have something that will deal with it, hopefully. I mean, I've seen people go out and hunt deer with these so and it's legal to hunt deer with and I don't know I've seen some people also take them out hog just hog hunting depends on the, and then they uh, I'm going to be trying to looking into some triple seven uh, and pirate X but I can't make no promises on I, when I'm going to get them. But I have worked up some reloads. I've, this one is the 25 grains of 3FG. I had to stop and think. With Which only filled it up to about here. And then I put a piece of cardboard 
a bunch of lube, another piece of cardboard, and then seated it all. And I actually had to seat it a few times because it kept squeezing out. It wouldn't let it crimp because the lube was squeezing, some of the lube was squeezing out. That's okay. That means it's kind of lubable sized uh, right into that groove. So there's going to be something like groove and then that lube cookie like the Henry Martini. So hopefully uh, the fouling stays pretty soft in this. I have not got to test these out yet. And I've got... This is, I think, the same, loaded the same way with two, uh, 2F, which filled it up higher to about there. So I put a piece of cardboard lube seated. Uh, and this one, I just put Trail Boss in there, filled the little lube groove that it comes with, with mix of beeswax, tallow, and paraffin wax to make some smokeless lube uh, and then seated it and why well, and it hopefully will work that's what I used in my last one for the trail boss and it's kept the fouling pretty soft there so we'll see I'm not sure but smokeless doesn't get as fouled as black powder so Uh, and then also I've got a whole nother box of these. These are standard factory loads. These are not ones I've loaded. Uh, the H, the Cowboy Ammunition, which will probably do a lot of planking, which are pretty accurate at 30 yards, in my, in my opinion. 30 yards for planking ammo should not be able to hit, I mean, it hits a man-sized target. I mean, I was getting, a man, you know... It's the targets about like touch stumps like simulates up from like about here. It's like this, like just from here to the gut, and I was getting body shots at thirty yards and decent wind. Uh, so I mean it, and it was smacking the target. I mean it knocked the. I had some dirt, about a good two three pounds of dirt, in that bucket behind it and it was kind of rocking it back and forth I don't know if it came that well up on camera hopefully with this new camera when I go out to the range I'll be able to demonstrate that and we'll be taking the spinner out and all this other stuff with this new camera and we'll get to see kind of what we'll just kind of compare the 45 different loads to the 44 we'll probably do a speed run uh, like this. Well, on this one, between the two cylinders, see how fast I can get ten shots off pretty quickly. Uh, I've kind of jerry rigged something to act as a like kind of like a mag pouch, like you would hold your extra magazine for your semi-automatic. I did a test run with it. It did speed it up from compared. This compared to my pocket or in my shooter shooter's bag. Uh, so it, it did kind of help a lot. But this is just more part one. Uh, I don't know if I said this before or not. This is part one of this. We'll be doing the more of a, the test when I can get out. And you'll probably see the video of it next week or the week after because I got like three more videos to make after this, guys. So I don't know when I'm going to schedule each one to be put up yet. Uh, but anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.